Hey guys, I just got a screaming, screaming signal down here. Copper signal. I'm like, dude, I'm, I'm shaking. Sure. Look at the condition of it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, dude, goodness. Like, come on, man. Yes. We literally <laughs> just got... <laughs> hey, guys, thanks for tuning in. I'm hanging out with my buddy, uh, Sean Keller, here from uh, Berks County Metal Detecting Facebook group. Head on over there and show them some support. Dig some pretty awesome stuff. Uh, we decided to hook up together and we're gonna be uh, metal detecting in the water here. And it's part of the Union Canal. Union Canal was in service from 1825 to about 1917. And it went from Philadelphia to Port Carbon. So uh, there was a lot of activity on the river. We're hoping we get on some stuff. What are you hoping to find today? Some old coins. Old coins. Just look down and there's a spoon in the water. Let's check it out. Right there. Surface fine. Huh. Well, it's not silver. Oh, hey, it could be silver tarnish, but. <laughs> it's a spoon. It's our first find. That's a pointy spoon too. That might be for like digging out avocados or something. <laughs> but uh, all right, man. We'll see you on the next hole. All right, guys. I'm getting a really, really high tone here. Probably a big target. Uh, we'll check it out. See what it is. I think I can see it from here, actually. Huh. Some giant bolt or cap to something. It's real heavy. No wonder it was giving up a 38, 39. Uh, well, put it in the bag and keep on going. Uh, I was getting a 24, 25, and this is to be expected a round fishing weight. So, uh, yeah, just gonna keep on moving. See you on the next one. All right, I'm hooked to this detector, but Sean uh, just got himself a watch. <laughs> Check that out. Ooh. I'm hooked to my detector. Oh, cool. Oh, man. Someone lost track of time that day. <laughs> probably kayaking there's a lot of kayakers that come through here man I gotta go it's 320 no I'm just kidding <laughs> awesome cool alright I'm, I'm going after a 2021 signal here if it's anything good uh, I'll get back to you yeah guess what Sean what? guess what I got what? got my first coin <laughs> it's a small one, but I'm hoping it's at least a weedy. All right, this is a modern coin spill I just hit here, but I wanted to show you. One swipe of my hand and got a bottle top and pennies in there. And let's see what this is. Wow, check that out. I forget the name of these. Something mites. What is it? There's, he's trying to bite me. <laughs> You're going back in, buddy. Uh, 
But uh, there's probably more stuff down in here. I see there's my panties here. I see a piece of a light. Bunch of stuff in here. So let's keep working the area and see what we get. Hey guys, I just got a screaming, screaming signal down here. Copper signal. Look at this. <laughs> Look at the size of that bullet, man. Holy cow. Whew. Dude. That's awesome. Not even fired. Wow. We think it's like a 50 cal. I'm not a I'm not great at bullets. I wish I had Mr. Buff here with me. Wait till he sees this. He's all about guns and bullets, man. That was that wasn't even that far down. I'm gonna keep searching this area. That is awesome. Sweet. All right, just got a piece of a pocket knife handle. We're gonna work around this area a little bit more and then we might move to another location. So uh, hang tight, we'll see you on the next one. Hey guys, uh, Sean's still working, working to water down there. I just got a decent signal, pop this out. I see threads in the top here and then threaded piece here. I'm thinking this might have been part of like an oil lamp or a lamp. There's sometimes would have been like a hinge type setup. So it was giving me a great signal. All right, Sean just came over. Looks like a hubcap or something. He dug a hubcap of some sort. Let's check it out. Uh, hmm. It's hard to see exactly what the... Yeah, this would have popped right in the center of the wheel on probably a 50s or 60s model. Maybe older. But I'm not 100% sure. You know what? It's got the... Uh, it almost looks like it's got a uh, face. Yeah, right? Indian yeah. facing left. I forget what car had that. Yeah, i never seen that. Wow, before. that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's neat. We'll have to try to do some research and see what that was off of. I see an Indian head or something. See it? Facing yeah. left. Wow. That's kind of crazy. Well, we'll see what it is. I really don't know 100%, but it's definitely something pretty neat. Yeah, like here would be... I think this would be like the neck. Yeah. And then the face. There is the face. Yeah. Huh, pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. Check this out, guys. You think about all the manpower that went into bridges like this, and it's pretty impressive. They're able to lock in all these rocks, huge boulders. Big boulders down through here. This is a natural spring. Well, we're gonna, I'm not getting much up through here. So I might turn around and head out towards the uh, river. But uh, it's pretty neat. Just wanted to, just wanted to show you this bridge. All right, if we get on anything, we'll be back. All right, guys, we worked our way out to an island. Has this old uh, bridge pillar all grown in here. I'm just going to beep around here a little bit, so what we can find. This was right laying out here on the surface. What the heck? I don't even know what that was. Oh, you know what? What? It's got electrical wires hanging off of it. I wonder if that was like an old blender or something. Yeah, it's like a blender. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> cool. Cool. All right, we'll keep working this area here. And we'll get back to you if we find anything. All right, guys, uh, we're going to wrap it up here. Uh, we just wanted to get out and see what we could find. Uh, Sean got himself a watch here, 
this old hubcap, which we gotta, we're gonna have to look that up to try to get an idea on that. I'm, I'm pretty curious of what that came off of. I'm thinking 50s, 60s type car, but this would have popped in the center hub, most likely, but I really don't know. It looks like it has a face, face on the left there. But uh, and you got an old spigot here. That's a really cool spigot, actually. That's really neat. That is cool. This piece did not ring up, but he found it out there, and it, it it's resembling like pottery. So it's worth hanging on to when you find something like that. Never know if it's Native American or how early it is, or if somebody does know what this might be off of. Leave a comment below, please. We're just not 100% sure on that piece. There, uh, I got a broken knife handle. That spoon right in the beginning, surface find. This little fishing weight, two ouncer. And a bunch of common coins. You got quarters, dimes, pennies, all that. Piece of uh, naughty <laughs> paraphernalia. <laughs> I thought it was part of a lantern piece, but someone got creative and turned it into something else. And my favorite find of the day, which I'm, I'm glad I got asked to come out today, was this beautiful, we think it's 50 cal, right? Yeah, that's what I believe. Yeah. Like a 50 cal bullet, not even fired. I mean, this thing is huge. I'm just happy to, to be able to get that today. But, uh... My buddy Sean here starting, uh, we'll get you in there. <laughs> He's starting a YouTube channel called Berks County Metal Detecting. Uh, there isn't much footage on there, if any, at this moment, but they're going to be uploading some videos. Yep. And they're going to have some good footage. So uh, I encourage you to go over and subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, show them some love. Well, thanks, thanks for bringing me out. I appreciate it.